Hola, clase. ¿Cómo están? Excelente. 3D Coward here. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, gotta take these off. Very hard to see. It's like an instant headache. But that's okay. All right, welcome everybody to week two of quarantine. I'm sure it's been interesting for everyone. I know I've been going a little crazy uh, in the house. You know, not really being able to do much. But hopefully you're getting through it okay. Okay. Now, first of all, let's award the Cowie Award. See who takes it home today. All right, you might notice I have a new kind of layout here. I'm getting ready for our Rocket League event on Thursday. I'll tell you about that later. Okay, so let's go to this one. Okay, so here are the comments from last week. Uh, Trey is upset that Javon has won the, uh, the Cowie Award. So he says, this is blasphemy. Javon doesn't deserve to win it. So, of course, I had to fight back. I said, he's my son, and I won't hear anything else. I will not tolerate that. Okay. And this is a comment I thought was very sweet. What if, in like 20 years, like for history classes, they use your videos to help explain how kids still learn even though schools were shut down? Very awesome. Very sweet thing to say. I love it. And the winner of this week's, or today's Cowie Award is Olivia. These videos inject dopamine directly into my eyes. Thank you. Even though that's an extremely disturbing image, <laughs> we're going to give it to you. All right, enjoy your Cowie Award. Oh, wait, hold on. <laughs> awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, so we've awarded the Cowie. All right, now, uh, let's go ahead and do today's warm-up. So, last week we were learning about the ordinal numbers, and I've just put it, I've just cut it down to four because I'm going to give you all a lesson today. So here is your warm-up on the ordinal numbers, uh, the, you know, the first, second, third, all that sort of thing. So go ahead and pause the video and do it now. All right, so hopefully, at least some of y'all did that, hopefully everybody. All right, first one, I like the second book. Me gusta el segundo libro, in that exact order. We want the tenth house. And now this was a feminine one, so it goes like this. Queremos la décima casa. So since we're talking about casa, everything else is going to be feminine as well. La décima casa. Ah, ah, ah. Ah, ah, ah. Okay, numero tres. I need the first dog. Now this one is the special one. So you say, necesito el primer perro. Not primero, because something comes after it. And the last one, they buy the fourth cereal. Again, like if we're looking at a bunch of them in a line, I would say, ellos compran el cuarto cereal. All right? So there's your warm-up. Now, I'm just going to review this very briefly, because there's not much to it. It's just the ordinal numbers. But again, everything will be on the final exam. And you also want to be able to say these things out in the real world. All right, so we're just going to go first through tenth. All right, repeat en clase. Primer, segundo, tercer, cuarto, quinto, sexto, séptimo, octavo, noveno, décimo. And again, they can all be made feminine, like uh, the fifth girl. La quinta señorita, la quinta chica. Uh, and so on. Okay, so that should cover that for now. Now go ahead, sac en papel. It's time to get notes on what is called the present progressive tense. Okay, so here is today's lesson. So Moses, we're going to take some notes and I'm going to give you all an assignment and then that will take care of Monday's class. Okay, all right, so first thing, go ahead and write this down. The present progressive tense, el presente progresivo. Okay, and again, as I go, just pause wherever you need to. You can pause, rewind, through the wonders and miracles of technology. Now, before, we learned what is called the present tense. Practico, I practice. Corremos, we run. Where you just use your old, you know, regular old present tense endings, o, as, a, and, and so on. Okay, so here are two for you to try. 
they eat bread and she drinks water. All right, go ahead, pause and try these now. Okay, they eat bread would be ellos comen pan. Now again, anytime I put something in parentheses, it's optional. She drinks water. Ella bebe agua. And again, we're just like stating facts. These are things that happen. Oh yeah, they eat bread. That's fine. You can get that. She drinks water every day. They're just things that happen. All right, now here's the most important, well, one of the most important slides. The present progressive is ing. It's the ing of Spanish. And there is no question that it is happening right now as we speak. For example, if you want to say, uh, I'm eating right now, or um, even if it's something in the background, like, oh yeah, in history class right now, we're reading The Great Gatsby. It's still going on right now. Okay, now it's made of these two parts. You have estoy, estás, esta, estamos, estáis, están. You've seen that before. It's just the verb estar. In AR verbs, you take off the AR and you put ando to create words like hablando, estudiando. And with ER and IR verbs, you put yendo. Uh, so comer would become comiendo. Vivir would become viviendo. Okay? And you have to have both parts every time. Okay? And I'll explain why. Okay, here's an example. I am talking. Estoy hablando. Like I've said before, every word in Spanish has a meaning. Estoy means I am. Hablando means talking. If you just walked up to somebody and you said, Hola amigo, estoy... It'd be like, hey man, I'm... And there's nothing there. Or if you randomly walked up to someone and you said, Hablando. You just said, talking... They'd be like, who? Who's is it you're talking? I'm talking? I don't understand what you're saying. Another one. We are running. Estamos corriendo. Okay? So hablar, AR became hablando. Correr, ER became corriendo. Okay? So now this word says running. And this one says we are. You need them both. They're always together. All right. So here are two for you to try. He is eating, which is comer. And they are listening, which is escuchar. Okay, go ahead and try these. Pause the video and try them now. All right. First one, he is eating. Él está comiendo. They are listening. Ellos están escuchando. Okay, now this doesn't matter if it's a girl. If It doesn't matter if it's a million men. Whatever it is, it is either ando or yendo. You don't put an S. You don't put an A. That is just is what it is. Ando, yendo only. This part changes. So that this lets you know who's doing it. He is eating. Esta. They are listening. Están. They are. Okay? Now, this is really just more of a spelling thing. If there are two vowels in a row in the original verb, things like leer, traer, you may have to change the spelling to maintain the integrity of the word. Now, let me pull up paint here real quick just to show you. Okay. I'll just do it with a brush. So, um, with the word comer, it's very simple. You take off the ER and you add yendo, comiendo, and now that clearly says eating, comiendo. Now, if you do that with leer, all right, you start with leer, Take off the ER and you simply do it like, treat it like regular, yendo. The problem is now you have three vowels in a row. Okay, that's a bad thing because vowels, A E I O U, here's what vowels sound like. I O I O I O I O. Right, there's no structure, they just make noise. So that's why the consonants are so important. Comiendo, it adds structure, it's like bones. This is just like some blob with no bones. So, to get out of this situation where you have three vowels, leyendo, all you do is you change the I to a Y. And now it says leyendo, and that's strong, and that's a good thing. Okay? Um, same thing with the word traer. Traer means to bring. 
Okay, so um, traer, if you were to just take off the ER and put yendo, like any other regular verb, you ha again have trayendo, and it's just it's too much. It's all over the place. So what we do is we say trayendo, and now it is propped up and it's strong once again. Okay. Okay. Now let's go back to our lesson here. So repitan leer, leyendo, traer, trayendo, ir, yendo. Ir has its own special thing because the verb itself is only two letters. I mean, come on, there'd be nothing left. Okay, now this is really the last part of the notes. It says stump, puh, <laughs> sorry. Some verbs do have a stem change in this tense, such as, so dormir, instead of being dormiendo, you switch one letter and you say durmiendo, okay? Um, so as you can see, each one has one letter that changes, and you will do this every time even if it's yo or nosotros or whoever, okay? All right. Repita en clase. Dormir. Durmiendo. Morir. Muriendo. Servir. Sirviendo. Decir. Diciendo. So this is O changes to U, and these are E changes to I. So if you don't know what these mean, I'll tell you. Durmiendo means sleeping. Muriendo means dying, as in like you're about to die. Sirviendo means serving. And diciendo means saying or telling. It's kind of like hablar, it's kind of like talk, but it's not exactly. Okay, all right, now here are your two examples, and then we should be done with this. I am sleeping, we are reading. Now, before you do these, I'm going to shoot back to the first. Remember, every single time, you're going to need one of these and one of these. Every time. Okay, so I'm going to go back to this. Okay. I am sleeping. We are reading. You can go ahead and try these and pause now. All right, let's see how we did. First one, I am sleeping. Estoy durmiendo. Estoy means I am. Durmiendo means sleeping. We are reading. Estamos leyendo. We are reading. All right. And that's the end of that. Let me make sure we're recording. Oh, yes, we are. Okay, thank goodness. Oh, okay. Oh, man, I'm sweating, like thinking about that. I just wasted all this time. Okay, good. Now, uh, what I'm going to leave you with is here's your assignment. This is already posted on Google Classroom. Here's what it says. Using the present progressive tense and your verbs, write 10 things that are happening right now. It could be what people in your house are doing. It could even be people somewhere across the world. You know, you could say, I don't know, people in... China are sleeping. Uh, for example, uh, you could say, I am writing in Spanish. Senor Coward is working. We are listening to music. It doesn't matter as long as you're practicing. I want to see 10 of these. Each one needs two words, okay? At least. This will be a quiz grade. Uh, and you'll, again, like I told you, we'll turn that in through Google Classroom. Now, quick reminder no online translators, okay? Make whatever it is, even if it's wrong, I want to see your work. It is cheating just to punch something in and it spits out things that we haven't covered, things that I haven't told you. Do not do it. It's aggravating. It annoys your teachers. Okay. Now, uh, last thing to leave you with. This Thursday, our school, I'm putting on a big event for our school because we can't go to sports matches because of the, you know, quarantine, lockdown, whatever you want to call it. But on Thursday, we're going to come together as a school and watch a stream. And just to let you know, we're going to be playing Rocket League. Our, um, our school eSports team is going to be playing Rocket League, doing some matches. There's going to be a halftime show. We're going to do National Anthem. It's going to be really awesome. I even have all these like crazy graphics, like here's me in the tower. And then we're, we're, I'm going to do a pre-show. Like While people are showing up, you can chat with me, hang out, and then we'll enjoy that. 
And then again, we're going to um, play Rocket League and I'll be down here in the corner, all that kind of stuff, okay? So that is all for today's video. Uh, stay safe, don't go too crazy in your house, and I will see you tomorrow. Adios.